Wait, uh, yeah, hold on. Mm, a missing jewel, and now Cramorant's full belly. What are you thinking, Pikachu? I figured it out! Uh, a bolt of brilliance! The stolen jewel we seek is right over there! In Cramorant's belly, for sure. Okay. case let's do it this is it let's take care of business <laughs> Everyone, thank you for coming. This sudden conference had better be important. It is. We've identified the real culprit. <gasps> Have you now? Yes, Mr. Barnes isn't the one who stole the jewel. Oh, oh. Who did it then? I'll explain everything from the beginning. Let's start with how the culprit entered the jewel storage room. There were no signs of forced entry on the door, so the culprit must have used the key. But Growlithe was guarding the key. No one but my husband or Barnes could have taken the key from Growlithe. Yes, exactly. So how did they... I guess it must have been Barnes then. Shut up, Turner. No, it wasn't. You see, the culprit had a trick up their sleeve for taking the key. The culprit used sleep powder to make Growlithe fall asleep. And after that, they took the key. Do you have evidence of that? Of course. Take a close look at Growlithe's food bowl, Inspector. You'll find traces of Lilligan's sleep powder in it. Of course. So that's how the culprit got into the jewel storage room. But they couldn't possibly have cut open that sturdy display case in such a short time. Yeah, good point. No, they could have if they had Pokémon accomplices. Pokémon? The culprit somehow used Whimsicott and Ponyard, and got Ponyard to cut open the case. What? How is that even possible? We may understand now how the jewel was stolen. But that doesn't necessarily prove that Barnes is innocent. 
Actually, I do have proof that Mr. Barnes is innocent. We discovered this note in a Trubbish's possession. The... Uh, a note? The culprit jotted down their whole plan. They wanted to frame Mr. Barnes for the crime. Then that would mean Barnes is innocent. So who's the real culprit? The real culprit is right here with us. What do you mean? Turner! The thief who stole the Aurora drop. It's... Mr. Turner, you're the culprit! Who, me? But, but, but I'm a victim of this crime. Ponyard punched me. It punched you, huh? Ponyard has blades for hands, and I don't see any cuts on you. If you really think I'm the culprit, then where's the jewel? I don't have it on me, and I haven't set foot outside the mansion. Where's the jewel? Isn't it obvious? It's with a Pokemon. What? This is so intense. <laughs> Of course you don't have the stolen jewel. You hid it. In Cramorant's belly. Uh, excuse me? Cramorant's maybe Turner's partner, but even so... Where is that Cramorant anyway? Mr. Turner, you clearly put a lot of thought into your plan. But when we investigated the crime scene, we found a Cramorant feather. And you underestimated Growlithe's sense of responsibility. Those two things did you in. Now, please call your Cramorant. <clears throat> Cramorant. All right, let me handle this. There it is! The Aurora Drop! And the key to the storage room, too! I'm afraid you can't talk your way out of this, Mr. Turner. <sighs> I was so close to living the easy life. I shouldn't have teamed up with someone I barely knew. Hmm. Ironic, huh? Cramorant swallowed the jewel, and now you've got to swallow the bitter consequences. Well, let's go. Yeah. Cramorant! 
Cremering, are you all right? What the hell? <laughs> Uh, 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 Don't just stand there. Hurry up and grab it. Right. <laughs> How could this be happening? Sanjeev. Turner! Uh, hold on. I swear I had nothing to do with that. Why don't we discuss this down at the station? 